says, a surveyor wishes to find the height BC of a cliff, of an inaccessible cliff. Use the diagram to determine the height of the cliff. Okay, so you have to sort of understand what's going on here. This triangle down here at the bottom is lying along the surface of the river, whereas this triangle right here has its base across the river, but it reaches up the cliff. So this one here is vertical. This one here is horizontal. They're, they're both right angle triangles, and you can see the right angles. There's one there, and there's one there. So what I need to do is use the bottom triangle, the horizontal triangle, to find the distance across the river, and then I'll use the uh, vertical triangle to find the height. So the bottom triangle, I've got this angle 42 degrees, and the adjacent side there is 34.5, but I want the opposite side. So that will be the tangent of 42 degrees will equal x over 34.5 meters. So x will be 34.5 meters multiplied by the tangent of 42. I'll just do this over here in my calculator, 35 point, sorry, 34.5 tangent of 42 is going to be approximately 31. 31.1 yeah, meters. And I'll use the actual value on my calculator here in just a second. The next thing I'm going to do is change my, my perspective here and look on the, the next triangle vertically. So I've got this angle right here. I now know the adjacent side. It was 31.1. And now I'm looking for h. So again, that's tangent. Tangent of 66 degrees will equal h over 31.1. So h will equal 31.1, or I'm going to actually use the whole decimal in my calculator, multiplied by the tangent of 66. So I'm going to multiply that answer that I got by the tangent of 66, and we get that this is going to be 69.8 meters tall. Um, that's the from the base at b up to the top of the, the cliff there. And that's the, the opposite side of the vertical triangle.